Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 19, and this is war number two. And we're going up against an alliance called Suicide Soldier Squad. So you can see the team that I've decided to go in here with. Now, this is only the second war that we've had to deal with these nodes. And I want you to notice something a little bit different. Notice that the left side is already cleared. So we've decided to go with a different strategy. Instead of trying to 100% the entire map, we are going to play it by ear. Now, one of us didn't get the memo and got trapped in that middle there. And so those of us who hadn't joined already, we needed to go in and uh, unstrand him so that we have more people to tackle that boss. So you can see we're dealing with flow as usual. Now, I make a pretty big mistake here. Very poor decision going in here with guillotine 2099. She is not a good option for this. Why I did this, I don't know. But this is all on me, okay? So the first thing I noticed and remembered is that he has cold snap and I'm taking a lot of damage just for being close to him. So I was thinking that I would be able to, you know, hit him and then back off, hit him and then back off and do that. And right there I got wrecked because I tried to evade his special two, which I've done but not reliably and in war that's not the time to practice so i should have done much better than what you saw there but i messed up tried to evade that special two and got wrecked all right so now i'm going in even though he has class disadvantage warlock is the better option for not just this node but for fighting vision arcus because it doesn't matter how close we are vision arcus you know, is not going to be able to do all that damage you saw me uh, taking with Guillotine 2099. Look at this. And I'm watching. I'm like, yeah, this is this is great, you know. But I also make a mistake here as well. But as you can see, Warlock is beautiful for this fight. So I'm trying to bait it out. Bait out that special one. He's got another special one already ready. Bait that out as well. I'm like, okay. So now it should be time for my special two. He gets crazy amounts. I'm like, uh-oh, he's going to get his special three. And he catches me with the special two. I said, okay, well, at least I survived. And I didn't have to take a special three. Because I'm looking down there and I'm like, oh, man, he's getting that power gain. He's about to hit a special three and wreck me. So I was trying to back off, hoping to bait it out. And he just caught me caught me flush so i was like okay i got out of that not looking too good but we survived at least so next one up i'm like all right those nodes look interesting but you know with morningstar i always think of omega red now my omega red isn't awakened but it doesn't matter because she's awakened and uh she will put a bleed on you i don't believe she needs to be awakened to do that um, but I always think of Omega Red because I know I'm going to get those bleeds. He doesn't take any damage from bleed. I'm going to heal up and my death field is going to be active all the time. So perfect fight. He was the perfect counter for Morningstar on that node. Okay. So now, you know, we've got one death because I was foolish, made a poor decision there. Uh, and I've cleared this path. Uh, this mini node, uh, mini boss is not free yet. But uh, when we come back, they've already uh, cleared it, as you can see. Uh, and we're ready for mini boss island up there. Okay. So we've cleared the middle. And now I'm going to scoot around to where they've already gone and tackle that right side okay so what we're trying to do is a boss rush we go we rush the boss we try to get the boss down with just a few people on uh in war then if the boss goes down then uh the rest of us can explore 
All right, but the boss isn't down yet. And I've got this thing to fight. So I'm like, okay, uh, I'm looking at the node. We got flow again, but I'm figuring that I should be able to handle him with Omega Ray. That stun, I hate that node. You saw how it wrecked me the last time. Uh, and I'll explain a why I don't like that node. Because it punishes me for playing the way that I've trained myself to play without thinking. And you're going to see that happen here. All right, so my thought here was I wanted to uh, fire heavies off. Now, you saw me get hit there. That was a dropped input. Uh, I was trying to do a heavy, and he just stood there. Okay, now I'm in the corner. I'm in trouble. I'm just like, okay, I cannot evade that thing. So I'm going to fire off this special one. Get away from me. And now I'm out, and I'm just going in. And I'm like, okay, we can recover from this. We can recover from this. We're good. Um, just don't parry him. And, you know, we know how to fight thing. So we should be good. All right, so we it looks like we got the fight back under control. We're not in the corner. Okay, you see I'm able to counter his heavy with a heavy, which is what I was trying to do earlier. Okay, and then that happened. Okay, that, if you guys are not familiar with it, is a reparry. And I often do it without thinking. Okay, all I had to do was take those blocked hits. But what happened is, in the middle of it, I try to back off and I block, and it parries. And on that node, you get punished severely. So I was like, oh my goodness, that's it for me for this war. Now, this fight that you see here uh, and the next two fights are Jigner. He submitted uh, his fights against Doom. Now, a lot of people wonder if Blade is still good. Is Blade still worth ranking up? Well, he says yes. Now, watch him fight Doom. Now, notice that he is parrying Doom. And when you parry with Blade, you put a bleed debuff on your opponent. So he parried him, and, you know, he's got the bleed doing damage. When he got trapped in the corner, then he parried and fired off a heavy. And Blade's heavy gives you great distance. When he built up to a special two, he fired that off. And you can see he's just melting this Doom. Okay? Blade is an excellent option for fighting Doom. Just look at that. Okay, so now he's wanting to really bait out that special. And there you go. He was already in the corner, um, and he didn't evade all of it, but he got it on that second one. Cool, cool. But he can regen, so it's all good. And he's back at it. Look at that. Doom just swinging and missing over there, trying to pimp slap him. All right, so he's uh, pretty straightforward with his uh, blade. All right, he doesn't want to go with that special uh, two if he can help it. Now he's in for the kill, going in for that final approach. Took Doom down. Beautiful. Okay, so Blade is still good in 2020. All right, still a great option uh, to bring in. Um, he doesn't get as much hype as he used to, but as you can see, he does an excellent job. You just got to know how to use him. All right, so now... Of course, they thought they were safe, and they wanted to put Dooms all over the place. Well, he just one-shot that Doom, and let's see what he does. I believe he one-shot that other Doom, uh, and let's see what he can do here. All right, so you can see he didn't even heal all the way up, but Blade can heal. Blade has a regen. Okay, so you can see here he's going in. Now, of course, this is the boss, so he can't um, parry stun him. So he's got to fight a little bit differently, but he's up for the challenge, okay? And you can see he's doing some great damage. Doom is not bleed immune, and Blade is just ripping him up, okay? He got a little caught there, but since he can regen, who cares? You know, he can just regen a little bit more, keep his distance, don't want to get caught in that uh, corner. And Doom is already down uh, to about half health, and we've got plenty of time to go. All right, so he's he's showcasing Blade beautifully, guys. All right, so you can see here he's got Doom in the corner. He regened a little bit. Doom didn't want none, so he stayed in that corner. All right, here we go. All right, he got that timing uh, down there. Now, the guy who uh, placed this Doom 
place with suicide. So you see a lot of damage being taken by him just baiting out those specials. Uh, it's great when they place with suicides because it really helps out. Okay, but I think he would have still been able to take this uh, Doom down without uh, the suicides and the recoil damage. All right, so he got clipped again there, but doesn't matter. Blade uh, can regen right on back up. Okay, and notice that even though he is stun immune on this node, it doesn't matter. He still gets the uh, bleed debuff from the parry. Okay, so he's just bleeding him dry. He's got plenty of time. Took it slow and down goes doom. All right, so we'll be back and we'll find out how we did. All right, we're back, and as you can see, we lost this war. No surprise, we were not really going for 100% this time. Uh, it's a very dynamic strategy. It depends on the war. If it looks like we can get it done really easily, great. Uh, if we can't, we're just going for uh, boss kills. Uh, now, we didn't get all three of our bosses down, uh, it looks like, this time. Um, had we done that, we would have won this war. Uh, but... One of the things that we are stressing this season is boss kills. Doesn't matter what else happens, how much exploration, just get the bosses down. If the other team wants to explore fully, use up their items, die as much as they need to, more power to them. We're not trying to do that. All right, so that's going to do it. Let's take a look here. All the way down here so you can see very big difference in the number of kills all right um we only had 27 uh during this time uh we were transitioning so we had some new people come in and they weren't able to participate uh in the war uh at least on defense they could uh participate in the attack all right but that's gonna do it guys thank you all for watching click like subscribe leave a comment let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day.